Uh, welcome back, everyone. Uh, for the next segment, we have here Chinoretics. Congratulations for your victory. Uh, thank you for being here and sharing uh, your experience from today's match. Now we open the floor uh, to questions from the media. So we will be starting with. Hey guys, can you hear me on the call? Yeah. Okay. Have one question from Siabachi, please. Someone's got to go first. I will. Uh, congratulations on the victory, guys. Um, after Lev's win earlier today, and this can go to anybody, uh, Tex commented that he thought you guys were actually going to win the match against Fnatic because you're good against a structured play style like Fnatic's as you just kind of run around and abuse your individual skill, to quote him. Um, what do you think of this description of your team, and how do you think your actual play style compares or contrasts to Lev's since that's the team you'll be facing off against next? The point is at me, so I guess I'll take that. Um, that's a good question, by the way. Yeah, it's a good that's question. A very good question. I mean, appreciate it. I think like we have a good balance of individual skill and macro. And for me, it's good that he thinks like that because then he has no idea how we play. So yeah, he's in for a shock if that's how he thinks we play. So honestly, it's good. Yeah, it doesn't agree more, honestly. Yeah. So we'll see. Um, if he thinks it's pure individual skill, then he's going to get individual skill, but he's also going to get much more than that when we play him. Thank you, and I look forward to the match then. Thank you so much. Uh, next question is from Alan. Uh, so this is a question for everyone uh, who is willing to answer this. Uh, and my question is, so Heretix, for now, uh, you have been three consecutive wins uh, in the champions and very good status. Uh, but uh, I want to know from your point of view, your personal point of view, that uh, if you have to give yourself a grade from like uh, out of 10, how much, how satisfied will you feel right now and uh, do how uh, how confident are you feeling right now about going into the grand final and get the trophy uh yeah i think i mean i think out of 10 i mean obviously it's satisfying i think we all we all knew like if we just played how we did in our practice like we'd beat them we're playing really good at the moment um our form is very very good so i mean, for me this is very satisfying probably at least like a like a Mm, six and a half at least a six and a half uh maybe seven maybe maybe eight i don't know um but yeah no i think we i don't know i think if we keep up this form like there's no way that we don't make grand finals um and yeah i mean that's all our goal right is to to go grand finals win lift the trophy i don't think any of us like right now after how we're playing will want anything less so um yeah okay thank you and congrats thank you Thank you. We have uh, another question from Andres. Uh, good afternoon, guys. Uh, congratulations on the win against Fnatic and reaching the top six in the world. Uh, my question is for Minivu and Ilsinio. Are there a lot of people who say that you are the best duelist and the best coach in the world? Uh, do you have a message for the people who say this and and the other ways, like Lucas Rojo, who say that you never changed rounds and that you were a broken team. Oh <laughs> <laughs> um, my god! I can't believe there's it. some <laughs> things that I just won't comment on because it's not worth my time and energy. And Mr. Rojo is one of them. I've worked with him. I know exactly how he works. Um, <laughs> Amaran, yeah, Amaran also plays a big part. I know, honestly. Um. Like, I don't really care about what other people say. Uh, um, I don't really care about what other people say about how we change. Like, I think it's very, very easy. If you, the reason that, look, if you watch any single, any team at Champions, not any team can change every single round they play, every second, or every game they play. Like, they're so, our calendar is so rough. You don't get time to change maps. We change comps a lot compared to other teams. Every single team we've played against, not many of them change much because they can't. So, yeah, when it comes to Mr. Lucas, I think it's very easy to say uh, when you're not in our position because you just don't have the time to change everything. And I think we've done a pretty good job of changing things up and keeping people on their toes. And, yeah, for, for Domi, like, Domi has the potential to be the best duelist in the world. 
Um, he showed it throughout stage one, and I'm confident he can show it again throughout Champions. So, yeah. The question was for me as well, but I couldn't add more. It was a good answer. I agree. Oh, uh, Minibu, I have uh, one question for you. How do you feel now? Uh, I remember you were taking a rest from stage two because you were so like uh, abrumated uh, from all the, the work doing on the school and, and game and on tournaments. How do you feel now? You are better, you're doing the, uh, you are better on this? How, how do you feel mentally? Uh, I don't know the meaning of the word you just said, but I guess I'm gonna assume it. You, it means like overhand. So yeah, uh, yeah, I feel way better now because I can focus on Valorant purely, and there is not a lot of distraction. Um, yeah, I'm just like I'm happy to be here with the boys. Like we spent like I think eight months together already. And uh, yeah, I'm just happy that I am like I can be a part of this beautiful journey and beautiful team. And of course, I'm super happy to play in Champions. Like that's every Valorant player dream, you know. Can I say something yeah. quickly? I think Domi Minibu is the best duelist in the world. I'm just saying this because he's not baiting like any other duelist. <laughs> so. Like, KD is nothing in this game, in my opinion. If I'm on top, if Wood on top, it's thanks to Domi. He's not baiting. He's playing the game how he should play. That's why we are good as a team. And, yeah, that's it. He's the best. Thank you, Enes. Thank you so much for your answers, guys. And I hope you get more wins on this tournament and win champions. You are like a lot of brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, we have one question here in the room. Hello, guys. Congrats with the win. So my first question is not very serious, but like uh, Benji, Wood, uh, Rians, what did you eat for breakfast today? <laughs> There's pistol rounds and uh, Hello, Yorkie boys. Falls. Hello, Hello, guys. Hello, boys. Hello, boys. <laughs> Hello, boys. <laughs> guys, no? Is that how, guys? Yes, oh, guys. Hi. Oh, hello, guys. We just had some like chicken and rice, basically. <laughs> but what are we gonna eat? What are you gonna order? Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna order some a lot of meat, a lot of food, a lot of I meat, mean, yeah, I want, protein. So yeah, me too. Mm. Uh, I have uh, two more questions. Uh, first question is to Wood. Uh, like playing against Fnatic, do you feel like more confident uh, compared to playing to with the teams uh, from other regions? Um, because like what we've seen today, I think it was like very confident play or is it just that your team evolving and you're just reaching your final form? Uh, yeah, I think it's like we are evolving as a team. Uh, everyone is crisp, individual performance. So, uh, it's about with my performance, like, um, actually I'm feeling more confident, confidence, like uh, while playing with the other regions other than EMA because we are already playing with EMA every season, every match. And I'm always like boring, you know, uh, again, EMA match, like, it's like not giving me confidence. But when I play with the other regions, I'm saying, okay, it's, it's, it's going to bang your match. And I'm feeling more confident. So, yeah, it's like not like that. It's like crossed. Got it. Love to hear it. And my second question is to the coach, since we heard uh, the, your description from Leviathan, I think it would be only fair if you give, like, you know, the description of their team in the same manner. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, uh, <clears throat> I think Leviathan are a very good team. They are very good players. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't really have anything bad to say about any of the teams and champions. Like, every single team we're going to come up against is strong and they have their own unique play styles and I think Leviathan are one of them like they've got some of the best players in the world in their team two world champions I think right maybe possibly yeah so they're an incredible team like even against Fnatic today even though we won that first map I think it was 13-3 it's not easy like those rounds are not easy we won some crazy clutches it's going to be the same so 
yeah, they're a good team. I respect them. But if we play our game, like Benji said, for me, I just want to focus on every game. I don't care about winning champions. Like, to me, that if you asked me that six months ago, it's crazy. Like, even the thought of that. So I just want to stay focused on whoever we play next and not think about the upper bracket, the final, the grand final. Like, every team is good. And Leviathan are one of the best teams in the world. So, yeah, I have a lot of respect for them. Thank you so much. And we have a last question from Andres. I have my last question is for Benji Fishy. Yes. You are currently top six in the world. You are getting closer to your goal of being the faker of Valorant. <laughs> yeah. Having wrestled like second in kickoff, second in Shanghai, second in EMEA two times in a row. How do you feel about the team and yourself knowing, knowing you, that you are closer to this? Um. Yeah, man, it feels really good. Uh, I mean, looking back on the year, um, I think... Like what we are now compared to what we were at like kickoff, Madrid, even like Shanghai, uh, stage two, stage one, like I think right now is by far the best form that we've ever been in. Um, like we're getting very close to being like unbeatable, I think. Um, I think we, I mean, I don't want to jinx it, but I think we're, we're, we're very close to being there. I think if we. Y'all did, did, bro. What? Y'all did, jinx it. Oh well, too late. It is what it is. Even I mean, if we even if we get beaten, we're still gonna go through low bracket. So it doesn't matter. Uh, but yeah, man. Like I, I think as long as we just keep up what we're doing now, um, there's nothing that's gonna stop us. Um, and in terms of the Faker of Valorant, I think I've still got a bit a bit of a way to go. I think Faker's you know <laughs> a different level, but you know one one champs win would start off nicely. So yeah. So much. Uh, I have a uh, uh, last more. Uh, to be honest, guys, I, I see you as brothers. Uh, that your parents are Neil Sin Young Weber, <laughs> seeing you uh, screaming, hugging, and all of that on the stage. I I always say uh, see that reactions on Twitter from Team Heretics, uh, uh media, and it's so cool having a team that it's so. It's so brotherhood. Uh, that their, their brotherhood is so huge. Uh, congratulations on that. Thank you very much. Uh, low team <laughs> reach that. Thank you. Uh, thank you. <laughs> so that was the last question. Uh, thank you, Tinerity, for being here. Uh, congratulations once again on your victory. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you.